All right, and here's just a patch of Milo. I've planted these all over the farm. I planted them late, very late, but it's possible they could start uh, getting some heads. So I see a couple already. See one right there starting. Oh, there's a couple. There's one, there's one. This is all corn. Oh, there goes another deer. I saw a couple deer. They were on this, this plot here, actually. This is all corn, so you can see the deer just devour the corn. They don't even really let it come up, but they don't like this uh, Milo. And this is all for late season. They don't like this stuff early, but if it gets good heads on it, all them tiny seeds, I guess, are carbohydrates. Here comes another one coming up. So my experiment might, might work. Planting this, I think it was like August 5th. All right, here we are, August 8th, 2019, and I'm finally drilling some sorghum, a.k.a. Milo. I got the planter dialed in pretty good. I uh, learned from past mistakes on how not to, or how to minimize the clogging anyways. So this spot here I'm going to put in is probably uh, about a half acre, I'm going to say. For about a week there, I planted like, six different patches all around the farm so i guess if it stays warm now for the next october it might have a chance to grow some seed heads so we'll see look at that there's a deer right there just came into the plot <laughs> stay for a walk yeah look at this corn just dead all right I'm rambling enough so uh, stay tuned I'll, I'll give you updates here probably weekly now because this is kind of critical when they start putting heads on like that critical stuff right there okay so the food plot behind the house was a disappointment but I'm gonna check this big one here, one of the two that Mike and I planted. These were the very first ones. All right, that's it for tilling. All right, it goes quick with two guys. I, ro I spin it, roll up, Mike fills it, and back out to the plots. And we've had a couple of rains on them, but they were very, very spread apart. And in between, it was 90s almost the whole month of September. So let's see what we got here. Definitely ain't a home run, but let's get a little closer. Oh, there goes a deer. Buck, a little buck. Ah, uh, I think all of this green grass looking stuff is wheat or oats. We do have a little bit of uh, brassicas coming up. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, look at them. They're all an inch high. Boom, boom. But those could be from my second planting. But this rain is going to help because it did get down a half inch. I checked it with my pocket knife. But by this time of the year, they should be, you know, 8 to 12 inches tall. Okay, well, dang it, I walked this far. I might as well check this big one. This was the very first one we planted. We planted it probably five, six weeks ago by that gray deer tower. And then I overseeded it again and I fertilized it. That's a buck track. Yeah, that's due north right there. You see how dark it is. That's been the story of our September. All the rain's going north of us. I know the deer are in here eating it, even though there's not much here. See, this long stuff. You know, I'm not sure if that's weed or weed grass. It's hard to say. Well, there's a deer standing right there. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, two of them. 
It's hard to say if that's wheat or weeds, weed grass. Most of it looks like weed grass because they're not eating it. The wheat, which is all the way mowed down to nothing, they are eating. So we got a little bit of some brassicas coming up. Again, little, little, little and tiny. But I fertilized it again and I overseeded it again. So, uh, you know, if we have a warm stretch without being too hot and maybe one more rain, it's possible we can get something out of this yet. But right now, this is useless. For the number of deer we have here, this is absolutely useless. Well, here I am. Here's another plot here that we planted. Let's check the next one. I don't see any green at all here. But this is the first rain we've got. So this is one of them that we planted and it's just been sitting powder dry. Oh, there's a little bit of a, that's wheat there, wheat or oats. So there's a little bit coming up. So this rain should help. This could potentially look like a green carpet in two weeks. So, man, come on rain, bring out one more good one. Okay, here's another millet patch. And then there's another really long stretch there. I saw one or two heads popping up. So this is approaching kind of critical time. Yeah, you can see right in here, these bulbs. Those are the seed heads developing, ready to pop up. So we'll see what happens. Could be a really, really blessed year, or it could just be a dud with this weather. All right, check this out. So I kind of mixed corn and, and uh, milo here. You can see that, that's like uh, three rows of corn. They've devoured that. But some corn snuck in here, which I don't think it's going to mature, but like these little tassels, I'm pretty sure that's corn. And this one, and then here you see the milo with a big seed head much lower down. That's looking good for a start right here. There's a corn, I think, mixed in that little guy. So we'll see. Here's a corn. Right here with, yeah, I don't think that's going to make a cob or an ear, whatever you call it. But the Milo's peeking out, man. It's pretty good all over the farm. We'll see what happens.